Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with y'all some of my worst designs. So get ready to cringe and laugh with me. So we're just gonna jump right into it. Okay, I pulled it up. If I gathered some, I just took a glance at it. So now I'm just gonna like really look at it and roast it if necessary. Let's start with this. And so this is for like these are all from college classes. So one of the projects was a brochure. It has potential, but I mean the legibility you can't see. Like, if you were to actually print this, you would not be able to see. Like, you wouldn't be able to read this. Like, you, you shouldn't have to... Okay, just no. So, there's that. Zoom back out. Yeah, I'm looking at this and I can already see how I could have done better with it. I see what I was going for, but did not succeed. And the back. Okay, this is better. This is more legible, except for this area. Look at this window and yeah, over here on the right is just it's not happening. I think we had to like the professor gave us a bunch of pictures to use and we had to find a way to use all of them or most of them and this is the result of that. Um, I'm just gonna move on. The next one that I'm gonna show, this was when I first started. And maybe I should have shown it in a certain order. But this is when I first started. I didn't know anything about Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator. So this was done in Photoshop. Give me grace, okay. Let's open it up. And the thing is, it was actually worse than this. So I went back and changed it. I didn't know what I was doing. The project was to find a quote and put like an image behind it that relates to it. So, art is not a study of positive reality, it is the seeking for ideal truth. There's so much wrong with this, like, it's not, the spacing, the, just everything, like, all of it, all of it, just throw it away. And I thought it was cool at the time, the little, the guy over here was searching, like, my mindset was, He's searching, he's seeking for the ideal truth in this vast land. John Ruskin, that's who the quote is from. I'm just wondering why I chose to put white text there and why, just why, really. Uh, and I posterized the um, image it's just really bad did I do this in Photoshop or Microsoft Paint I don't know I didn't know I was, I was in high school I didn't have any special 
classes or programs that taught me this stuff. I really learned it in college. But let's move on to the next one. Okay, Chex Mix. So this was a project I did with a partner. Like, we had to pair up with someone to do projects for the semester. And this was one of them. So it's Chex Mix. And the concept was that with family, it's like, you get a mixture of characters and with Chex Mix you get a mixture of different flavors combined in one. So each flavor represents a different type of family mix. Something like that. Okay. Great concept, right? You're gonna laugh at me? No, you're gonna laugh at the, the, the... Let me just open it. Oh wait. So this is the storyboard for the commercial. I was new with Photoshop, but the title of the commercial TV spot like where you plan for this commercial to show and who the client is. So sound effects, the car is driving down the road. Then Becky says, gosh, Derek, why are you such a loser? No one believes you're my brother because you're so freaking weird. And then Derek, which is the goth character. He says, I am not weird. I'm just very different from you. And Becky says, ugh, whatever. How am I supposed to explain it to my friends? And then cuts to Derek. He says, what friends? You mean your fake cheerleader friends? <laughs> and then Becky says, they are not fake. So now Tommy, which is the little brother, he's crying. And mom says, stop arguing. You're making... Oh, that's a typo. Oh, damn. You see that? My neighbor's really doing fireworks right now. It's like, it's almost one in the morning. Anyway, mom says, stop arguing. You're making your brother cry. You're misking. Typo. Now cut it out. I don't want you behaving this way when we get to grandma's. Becky says, but mom, he's so weird. He used up all all my mascara. Oh my gosh, so many typos. He used up all my mascara. Which Derek says, no, I did not. I wouldn't even touch your stuff. Becky says, what's that supposed to mean? Then the dog, the family dog, Roscoe, starts barking because of all the arguing. Tommy, the little brother, keeps crying. Becky and Derek continue to argue much louder. Mom says, now Roscoe is barking. Becky, Derek, stop arguing now. You're upsetting everyone. And you can see a little, I forgot to erase a part of the picture here. This is just a hot mess, but good concept, right? So now there's the mom rolling her eyes with Becky in the background like, and you can clearly see I photoshopped her head onto someone else's body. <laughs> so Bob sighs heavily. Becky and Derek still arguing. Tommy's still crying. Roscoe's still barking. And I know, like, I forgot to paste the name there. But anyway. Then Mom angrily hands them the Chex Mix. The arguing stops. Tommy stops crying, Roscoe stops barking. So that's the one thing that everybody can agree on is the Chex Mix. Dad looks pissed <laughs> driving this car. And you see like, I photoshopped all in the back. It's a completely different dog. I tried to match it, but it didn't. Yeah. Then I photoshopped this hair into smiling baby because it had to match so i photoshopped the hair onto this kid the voiceover and i show the logo and the tagline checks mixed traditional a mixture of fun and then the sound effects is the family happily chewing on the checks mix so good concept just really bad photoshop and when i show you the ad I made for it, you're going to laugh, but it's all good. 
a completely different thing because I wanted like everybody to be smiling and his paw is on the dad's shoulder now okay so let me zoom out okay so get the theme here I photoshopped the dad's arm because it was only like a part of it and looking at it now there's so much wrong with this but anyway like I this was pretty decent for how much I knew about Photoshop. I basically made her arm because it was cut off. So I had to make her an arm. And now she's holding and make her hold the bag of checks mix. I also had to make the dad's arm. I tried, okay. Steering wheel. Yeah, I think I tried to give her some pants. And then dashboard here got cut off. I didn't extend it. Okay, there's that one. Now, Truvia is a sweetener using Stevia and their competitor is Splenda. So, before I show that one, I want to show this one. It's bright. Okay, the red is really vibrating off of the blue, and I don't like it. And then the two different fonts for Obama and Biden. There's too many fonts being used, first of all. The spacing is terrible, and clearly I didn't know what I was doing. They just said to create a poster for the upcoming campaign that year. And this is what I came up with. Because I didn't know what I was doing. And I figured out, oh, let me just throw some color and put some typography. And that'll be it, right? Next, now this was another good campaign, but these are like the parts of it that didn't make it to the final project. Okay, so this is a, an ad. Let me zoom out. It says, you shouldn't have to pour this much sugar. See all of that sugar? To get this much flavor. See that? You don't need to pour all of this. And all you need is that much flavor. And then there's the body copy. There's the tagline. It's a print ad. Yeah. I got a little better at Photoshop. <laughs> I also worked with my partner for this one as well. And like sometimes we <laughs> we still talk about this like cringing at how bad our Photoshop was back then, but the point is, you grow over time. Gorilla placement. Terrible idea. Terrible. So, stevia plant where the, um, is where it comes from, for Truvia, right? So this idea... was I'm clutching my pearls was <laughs> the stevia plant at a coffee shop it, and Truvia packets are placed on there it's just it's, it's a hot mess like I was looking through my stuff and I was like I can't believe I this this is so terrible what was I thinking this is awful I think I think my professor said that too and I was like yeah it is because <laughs> I like I liked what I liked about the professor was he was like straight up whether or not the project was good or bad 
so that puts me in the right direction like okay I know this won't work I'm gonna try something else but yeah this was not good I've done better gorilla placements than this a gorilla placement is basically like an ad somewhere where you normally wouldn't see it you wouldn't expect to see it there yeah that was that one yikes okay i think i have two more things to show y'all let's start with the daydream at the doctor okay now this is a commercial ad for fit and active and the target audience is women so that's why it's going to be on the tv and i did not capitalize active that's okay this isn't the final version that i shared i don't think the concepts say the same but i just fixed any like typos and stuff and then i just really wanted to show the drawing here it's not bad like i didn't i, I did trace over it but the campaign was good and everything it's just this drawing you could tell i wasn't I wasn't that great at drawing um, an illustrator just yet, but let me just read this. So this is such an improvement for your last visit. Whatever you're doing is working. How do you feel? So the sound effects, there's a heart playing because she's starting a daydream. And then it cuts to people talking because she's at a race. So the gun fires off to start the race. People are clapping and cheering. So they're supposed to be running but I didn't know how to draw people running so I just put their arms behind them so I didn't have to draw hands or arms in motion and then the sound effects the spoon clinking on the bowl so she's running with the cereal and eating it which I would not recommend to anybody but this is just a dream and you see like the hand oh my god I didn't I'm supposed to crop this out it's not even carrying over I hope I fix that in the final version <laughs> good girl and then oh my her part Okay, let me. So, yeah, I. I hope I fixed that in the final version. I submitted. I think I did. This is this is messy. Okay. So anyway, this is, that's supposed to be a fist, fist, but they don't look like it. Then it cuts to her winning. So like that you know, that paper that ribbon that they run through when they finish so she came in first she won why y'all see I I did not see that I don't know but anyway so she's still daydream it's still the daydream and then the doctor says Miss Aldi is her name um and that's because like Fit and Active is under the Aldi brand, so I figured I'd just call this Aldi. So it cuts back to you know, clapping and cheering while it stops, but she's still daydreaming. So the voiceover change is difficult, starting with the most important meal of the day is a good place to begin. Help yourself to a delicious bowl of our sweet strawberries and rice wheat flakes. So basically, this is what has helped her with her health. And then it cuts to the cereal, milk being poured. You know how those commercials do with the milk being poured into the cereal. And I just took an image and vectorized it in Illustrator. It has the fiber, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and whole grains that motivates you to accomplish anything. And it cuts to the box of cereal with the tagline and hashtag on the website again. This is hot. So the 
this of course you can see is from the box that we actually photoshopped from the box and then put it here but probably well not probably should have tweaked it so it looked more so it looked smoother but anyway kidnapped by tally cereal with strawberries healthy living starts here which is the tagline so good concept just the drawing so I wasn't quite there yet okay and then the last one is a special treat because when I first saw this after years of going through my work I saw this I started cracking up and I was like I, I can't believe that I actually did this so this is from the same campaign but it's another gorilla placement the worst one I've ever done so I saved it for last are you ready? Here we go. So, <laughs> let's zoom in. Okay, first, hashtag bowl of benefits. So the client, you know, fit and active, blah, blah, blah. So they're in Central Park and <laughs> the bowl, so it's supposed to be a bowl of the cereal whatever i guess they make it like a statue or whatever in the middle of central park and it's for social like people can come in front of it and take pictures and put the hashtag that was the concept right but <laughs> it's a terrible idea like who wants having a random bowl in the middle of Central Park is just not and the reason I picked Central Park was because you know a lot of people like to jog and this is about fitness so it made sense to do that but they, they, look, they look so happy with their bowls of cereal like yay <laughs> and I photoshopped little bowls into their hands It's so bad. Like when I first looked at this, I was cracking up but because I saw it right at I'm not laughing as hard, but it's still really I can't believe I did this. Look at it. It's a horrible. It's not even smooth, like it just looks sloppy. Like I just threw this stuff together it's so bad and then i updated it to just having the bowl there with the spoon but it's just like no just just throw the whole idea away so i did but yeah and i've shared like a couple of other terrible designs and other videos which i'll link in the cards somewhere i don't know where it is but so that's all I had to share. Those were some of my worst designs. Hopefully you were entertained. I know I was. Yeah, I I can't believe that I did that. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Whatever you know. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Why does it keep recording when I'm not ready?